Welcome to Renew the Upper Back Practice. We used to sit a lot nowadays. So let's delete the stiffness from the upper back and open our shoulders more. Bring your hands into your knees and start to round your head. That's the first move. Just enjoy the breath. Try to connect the breathing with the movement. The way you breathe, the way you move. Inhale, the head is moving up. On the exhalation, chin is coming closer to the chest. Just enjoy the opening. Let's get to the other side. Switch the side and again. Inhale up, exhale lower. Connect your movements and a breath. And we do the last time. Bring the chin into the chest. Hold. Now move the head to the center. Move your hands up. Take a breath. Deep and long inhale. On the exhalation, bring the hands to the chest. And one more time. Inhale, hands up, palms touch. Bring the energy from the sky into the heart. Inhale, hands are moving up and releasing the fingers. Stretch your hands up. Press the sitting bones to the ground. Feel the stretch and elbow straighten. Bring the chin towards the chest. Feel the opening in your neck. Hold. Squeeze the shoulders. Elbows in towards each other. And exhale. Place your hands to your head. Stretch the neck. Chin to the chest. Try to keep the spine straighten and you will feel sensations till the tailbone and then look up and open your chest flex your lower back tailbone so the lower back is not working try to open yourself with a lifted heart and again stretch the hands up to the sky Release the hands to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades, soften your elbows and twist your right hand to the left knee, really get high through the crown of the head and look back over the shoulder. And let's bring that to the center and twist to the opposite direction. Move yourself high and twist back. Breathe. Bring your body to the kneeling position, all fours, and then sit between your heels and releasing the hands over the back, shoulder blades together, move the head back, touch the tip of the fingers to the ground, stretch the chest. Relax the lower back and from here start to move the belly into your thigh, forehead towards the floor, hands are lifted up, shoulders are pulling away from the ears. A child's pose. With the hands lifted. Deep breath. And then twist to the right side, look up and center, twist to the left, look up, get back, forehead to the floor and move to the previous pose, your fingers touch the mat, lift it hard and release your hands, place them to the knees round the back, look at your navel. Move the belly in, really stretch the back. 
and keep breathing. Each movement you do connected with the breath. That's our main link. Go into the tabletop pose. Knees under the hips, palms under the shoulders, cat cow, inhale, arch in the back, exhale, round and press in the back to the sky, inhale, cow, exhale, cat, look at the navel, move from forward to backward, stretch in the back, inhale, look up, shoulders back, curl the toes under, and lift straight in the back to the downward facing dog. Pressing through the palms, getting the tailbone up high. Hips are lifted high. Shoulders away from the ears. Maybe walk with legs one foot at a time to open up the hamstring. look forward and then walk to the front of the mat using the core strength find your elbows relax the upper body neck head relax you can move from side to side opening more relax and melting in chest Get to the normal breath and roll up, moving the hands high on the exhalation, hands to the prayer, sitting in the chair, legs are slightly wide, moving the hands up and then move your hands almost parallel to the floor, your buttocks are also parallel to the floor, press the butt away press the hands forward so your knees and ankles in line move the hands back and releasing the fingers stretching the shoulder blades and towards each other lifting it higher into the chair with katasana looking up exhale slowly stretch the hands up Move yourself to the forward fold, straighten the legs. Find a breath, deep and sweet breath. Inhale, lift the gaze, chair, shift the hands up, fingers really energized. Move the hands parallel to the floor, pull the buttocks backward, and again. Moving the hands back, stretching the shoulders, lifting the gaze, really strong pose. Exhale, forward fall with the hands really far. And then bend your right knee and place the right shoulder to the right knee, twist, gazing up to the ceiling. really cool nice twist through the center get to your left knee with the left shoulder stretching the right leg one leg is bent one leg is straightened twisting still keeping the shoulder blades together and moving the hands forward parallel to the floor Lifting the hands up to Utkatasana, sitting lower and eventually standing up high and exhaling the hands to the heart. Inhale, hands up, palms to the prayer. Reset, tailbone in, body active Utkatasana. Sweeping the hands to the sky. Exhale. Moving the body to the forward fold, head to the knee, inhale, halfway lift, on the exhalation move the right leg back and the left leg back, moving to the plank, get your knees down and dive with your chest and chin, getting to the upper facing dog or forward pose, exhaling to the downward facing dog.
Let's put it here, fingers wide open, press the hips up, heels sinking down. Move your right feet forward, press on lunge, lift the hands, lengthen the tailbone down, opening your chest, bend the elbow, look up, maybe the back bend, but remember to open your heart more. Then go to the plank, exhale, lean to the ranga. inhale, look. Uddha Mukha Svanasana, exhale to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Moving the left leg forward, present lunge on the other side, bending the elbows, opening the heart to the sky. Pressing the heel away, exhale, ground in the palms to the plank. Chaturanga, exhale, inhale to upper facing dog, exhale, down dog, rest here, hold it in the belly pin, shoulders away from the ears, move your legs wide apart, and walk with your palms back to what two feet those are. Opening from the side to the sides. Go to the yogic squat. Stretches the ankle glorious and back. Close your eyes. Move your elbows to your knees. Hands up. Energize your fingers. Feel the energy from the sky through the fingertips going to your back. Look up. Really set tall. And let's bring the right hand down to the floor. And maybe find a bind or wherever you are. You can stay on the twist if you don't have the bind there. But try to work towards it, squeezing the shoulder blades. Gaze lifted. Don't lean to one of the sides. Inhale. Hands moving to the sky again. We center. And let's place the hands down to the floor. Get to the stretch. Pull the hips back. Go with your fingertips really far. Moving the hands upward. And the left hand moving to the floor. Opening through the right hand behind. Try to open yourself through the heart, through the chest, without leaning to one side, twisting. Exhale, recenter, hands lifted high. Exhale, move your chin in towards the chest. And ground your hands to the mat. Lift on the fingertips, walk with the fingertips far away. Hips are staying still. And let's go to the downward facing dog. Exhale. Heels are on the floor, chest moving towards your thighs. Deep breath. And let's work forward. That's really help for the core. Find your elbows, relaxing pose, rock down. Maybe move your head, but make sure the upper body relaxed. And roll the sorrow. Bring the hands to the sky on the inhalation. Bring your feet together on the exhalation. Hands are to the namaste. Inhale, hands up, exhale, hands low, forward, fold, inhale, stretch up, exhale, step your right leg back, step your left leg back, go to the Chaturanga, to up dog, to Adho Mukha on the exhalation, 
Lift the right leg up. Bring the right knee in towards the chest between the legs and with the control, step this right forward, ground the back heel and lift to the peaceful wire, opening through the sides. Side angle pose, peaceful wire, exhale, center inhale, exhale, bring elbow to the knee, stretch through your left. Inhale, center, exhale, peaceful. Inhale, center. Peaceful warrior. Maybe up the back side of the head to stretch more. And eventually, ground your right palm close to your right foot. Press the shoulder to the knee knee to the shoulder. The center of the kneecap is in line with the center of the right ankle. Rotate the torso up and slide it to the left. Look up, hand across in the airline, stretching the whole left side of the body. Rather stay here or find a bind and move your body upward away from your thigh, don't lean into the right leg, don't press the whole weight to the front, and inhale, lifting to the warrior two strong legs, and now straighten the front leg, maybe step with the back leg closer, adjust the pose, and let's move through the waist. To the trikonasana this dynamic move are helping to burn the fat from our waist and eventually get to the trikonasana adjust the pose any variation comfortable to you make sure your shoulders in line pull your upper hip backward the lower hip forward then press into the inner edge of the front foot and outer edge of the back foot, stretching in all directions, and get up, lean the left hand to the left leg, open the chest again, now move your hands forward, stretch them forward, step a little bit closer, and now left hand will go to the right leg or over the right foot, revolve triangle pose, look up, Try to create the space between the belly and the thigh. Press into your feet. Lifting the gaze. Twisting. Getting out of this. Stretching to the front leg. Or Svetanasana. And bending the front knee. Moving this right leg up to the one of the top. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Weaving through the hip. One deep breath, more. Maybe take one legged chaturanga and ground yourself down to the mat of your belly. Spread your hands wide, going to the fingertips, squeezing the shoulder blades, lifting up to the cobra. Now, without Releasing the shoulder blades, move the forehead to the floor, keep squeeze them. Exhale, inhale, lift the head up, your shoulder blades still squeezed. Exhale, forehead to the mat, inhale, lift and hold. That's really great for the shoulders. And relax your hands, place the palms onto your shoulders. Go to the kneeling pose and from here to the downward facing dog, Adam Kushmanasana. Stretching the hips up Breathing. We are working on making our downward face a resting pose where we can add our steady breath, our heartbeat to normal, to slow everything down and to release the present moment. Let's go to the left side, left leg lifts, left knee to the chest and with the control stepping between the hands, 
round the back here and let's get into the peaceful warrior and get in a few of these playful moments through the center we are going to the side angle hello to the knee inhale to the center exhale peaceful wire look up to the sky inhale center exhale glory to the other side and inhale to the center exhale open through your chest and raise move your elbow to the knee in the exhalation shift to the back leg sit lower stretch the chest and exhale again place your hand down to the side angle stretches and lengthen the entire body from your foot up to your hands to your shoulders make the back leg strong get the resistance between the shoulders and knee deep breath maybe find a bind but really get your chest up don't lean into the front leg trying to create a space between your waist and the thigh gazing upward standing strong and go into the warrior two straightening the front leg make a full back bend and exhale step a little bit closer make this dynamic move from side to side slimmer our waist and we are ready to move our left hand down to the floor or the, to the shin into the trikonasana stretching through your hands shoulders in line pulling the upper hip back pressing to the outer edge of the back foot keep your legs nice and firm and straightened if you feel the front leg bends please step a little bit closer to adjust the pose that really great opening for our hamstrings enjoy the breath let's go up finding the back bend moving the hands to the front stepping a little bit closer and now right hand over the left leg twist it Trikonasana. Lift the gaze, wind the shoulders. Try to keep your hips still, twisting from the lower and upper back. Exhale, bring yourself to the intense side stretch, lean into the front leg and move this left leg up. To the one-legged dog on the exhalation get into the one-legged chitwanka inhale into up dog move your gaze over the right shoulder center exhale over to the left try to see your left heel exhale lifting the hips to the downward face Adam Kushvanasana, our resting pose. Find a breath. Really energizing. Shift the gaze forward and walk with your feet closer to your hands. Move your hands slightly wide, stretch the chest up and on the exhalation, hug your legs to the forward fold, stretching and opening our hamstring. Maybe rub your hands, finding the elbows, 
Stay still. Inhale, lifting. Body, hands up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Our next pose is Prasarita Padatanasana C. Step with your legs wide. Make sure your inner feet are parallel to each other and press the outer edges of your feet and both the big toe firmly to the floor. Stretch the sternum, lock the fingers of the back, stretching and lowering down, making the front torso slightly longer than the back, keeping the neck long, pulling the shoulders away. Keep moving your shoulder blades in towards each other. Your back is slightly concave from the tailbone to the base of the skull. Deep breath. Move the belly in. Your legs are really strong. The pose prevents the fatigue and headaches. Stay in a full forward bend. Keeping breathing. Inhale, lift the body up, move your hands to the front and then bend your knees, move your toes upwards, lower the body parallel to the floor, keep pulling your hips back, stretching through the fingertips forward, looking down and now grab the ankles and move your elbows Press the elbows to your thighs, opening the hips more and more. Stay parallel to the floor. That's the strong pose to open our hips. Really nice. The plie. And move your hands just above the knees. Stretch your right shoulder down, twisting, looking up. Through the center inhalation, on the exhalation, stretch the left shoulder down. And a few more times. That's a great twist to open the shoulders. Look up, press to the knee. Keep your feet grounded. And again, bring the hands, stretch them forward, move the hands down to the floor, straighten the legs, move your toes slightly inside. And let's get to the twist. Grab with your right hand your ankle and move your left to the center, far from the body. Pressing with the palm to the floor, twisting the torso, twisting the body. That's a very deep twist. Keep your legs form, your feet form to the floor and then do that to the other side. Try to reach with the gaze to the ceiling. Keeping the breath steady. Now move your hands between your legs and form the left leg. Move yourself to the downward facing dog. And from the downward face, bring the knees to the floor. Go into the cat pose, moving forward and backward, stretching the spine up to the sky. And Balasana, the child's pose. Observing the sensations of the body. Observing the breath. Connecting with the breathing. Preparing to other asanas. And resting. Relaxing. Resetting. Tabletop inhale. 
move your right shoulder to the ground simply dive with your right hand under the left shoulder and then play with your left upper hand if you don't feel the pressure on the head you can lift the left hand and even wrap the body placing the left hand into the thigh of the right leg or just keep that palm into the floor deep twist wonderful resting pose really beneficial for the shoulders let's switch the sides dive with the left hand shoulder down to the floor and maybe play with your right hand moving that to the rub keep your knees steady in line that's the shoulder work the lower back twist the shoulder stretch and move to the extended puppy pose bring your forehead to the floor move your fingers and palms really far keep your hips still hips are not moving maybe come with it into the fingertips stretching both sides of the body let's go to the rabbit pose move the top of the head to the floor round the back engage the core round down don't press to the head too much stretch in the spine Move your legs, straighten to the front of the mat, go into the Pachimottanasana, grab your yogic toes, inhale, straighten, lengthen the spine, exhale, bringing the body closer to the legs, stretching the whole back side of the body. Keep flexing your toes on the exhalation, can keep moving forward and forward. Breathing for the spine, for your ankles. That's the great meditative pose that brings us to the meditation. So keep calm. And then maybe rub your wrist and go to a more deeper stretch, or simply reset with the breath in, lifting the chest, and on the exhalation, lowering again, even more close to your legs. breath inhale lift the gaze release the pause so we go into Paravita Chanushrasana bring your right foot inside of the left thigh bring your shoulder down and twist the torso up to the ceiling keep pulling the shoulder of your left side to the ground Twisting, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze, maybe touch your toes, but really lengthen the left side of the body. Inhale, releasing. Move your left knee on top of the right. Flex your ankles. And now move your right hand up and move your left down to the stretch. Find your fingers over the back. Stretching the sternum, gazing upward feeling the pause feeling the stretch and eventually lean into your knees lean into the front or bend if you are not comfortable to bend just stay wherever you are stretching your hands keep breathing through the areas where you feel the stretch and give it the breath imagine the breath is your guide the breath is your help Inhale, getting out. Release the hands, maybe shake them. That's the good helping thing. So now, soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. Lengthen the spine on the exhalation. Move your chest in towards the floor, the forehead in towards the floor. Helping with the elbows to open your knees to the sides, to open your hips. Breathing for the hips, 
highly therapeutic pulse stimulates abdominal organs and kidneys, stimulates the heart and improves general circulation. On the inhalation, lift the head, release the pulse. Body Vrita Janushan on the other side, straighten the right leg this time, bring the right shoulder down. Your right shoulder is coming closer to the right knee or towards the floor. Right hand is straightening and pulling the left knee away. So you can twist the body, your left hand up and across. Even if you don't touch your toes, that's not really important. The more important to twist the body here. Getting out of this, this time right knee on top of the left. Flex your ankles and move your left elbow towards the sky. Find your fingers, lift the chest. Check the stretch, breathing through your hands. That's a deep stretch. And exhale if you can, if the body allows to you. Bring yourself down to your knees to the forward bend. Breathing, enjoying, relaxing. That's your time, your practice. Wonderful stretch. Inhale, lift, look up, exhale, release your hands, maybe shake your hands one more time, and then move the legs forward, we're going to lay down on the back, so adjust your body into the mat, bring your knees towards your chest, give them a big nice hug. Maybe rock from side to side, massaging the lower back and press yourself to the rock, rock and roll, rocking and rolling, feeling the massage to the back, don't hurry here, try to feel each centimeter of the spine, enjoying the core work at the same time. And now go and move your legs into the eagle. Simply wrap with your right leg, your left leg, and bring the roll to the left side, spreading the hands wide, pressing the palms to the floor so you can keep your shoulders glued to the mat, gazing to the opposite direction from your legs. A huge positive twist of the spine. Really relaxing. You can close your eyes and focus on the breath. Focus on your twist, breathing for the spine. That's something really helpful. Inhale, bring your legs up and change them. Rub with the left leg this time, your right, and bring the roll to the right side. Gaze to the left, press the palms to the floor, keep the shoulders into the floor. They are not lifting. It's better to lift your knees if you need, but shoulders have to stay on the mat. Enjoy the pose. Close your eyes. Back the attention to the breath. To the relaxation. To the way of joy of your practice. Calming the brain. Keeping the mind still. And release the pause. Huge hug to your knees. Bring your nose to your knees on the exhalation. Hold. Hug them more even. And relax the back. Let's go to the shoulder stand. Lift your hips. Support with your palms. Bring the shoulders in towards each other. The elbows closer to each other. That will help you to lift more in this pose. Move into Halasana, straighten the legs to the ground, straightening the hands and releasing the fingers, pulling the shoulders in towards each other, shoulder blades together. Try to 
create the space between the chin and your chest. And Karna Vidasana. Bring your knees across the ears. If your knees cannot stay on the floor, you can bring your knees into the forehead. That also will be really helpful. And eventually, release this force. Bring in the legs slowly down to the ground. And when you feel the strengthening of the core, lift the head, stretch the chest up, and form the fish pose, Matsyasana. The last pose. Breathe. And finally, bring your feet wide, bring your palms upward, move your shoulders and spine to the floor, relax your head, relax the body, Shavasana, final relaxation, keep breathing, focusing on the breath and on your own sensation letting everything around to disappear that's only your time of the perfect balance between the body soul and the mind